Well, today is one of those days with the weather. Hello people, welcome to vlog 14. Today I'm going to be doing some walking around in my village. I'm definitely going to get a haircut later. But first, I thought I wanted to ask you lot an interesting question. I've been thinking recently of something like this and Wolfie from Tracy Beaker since he really likes the wildlife and, and I know David Beckham, not David Beckham, David Attenborough does too. I'm wondering if somewhere down this path would be a perfect place for Wolfie to just sit and chill and I don't know, may even do a bit of fishing. I don't know. Maybe if by luck we might find a rare animal. Let's go for a very small hunt to see if there's any peacocks or pheasants maybe or maybe a rare blue bird. Is Blue Jay a rare bird in the real world? Except for Mordecai from regular show. I'm not sure. But let me take you to the place where Wolfie would really like to do a bit of spot of fishing and it's just only down there. It's just here at this... Oh no, this isn't it actually. My apologies. It's a bit further down there. And no, pigeons aren't rare birds. They're very common before you might ask. Are pigeons rare birds? No. But interesting question though. Here we are, the place where Wolfie would like to do a bit of fishing. I think it's probably right there, I reckon. Can't see any rare animals around here though. I'm not sure if that river looks a bit choppy like that before I have seen. Yeah, sometimes if you wanted to, well, I think what you, you can use to do is walk up here, climb up with those steps and head to that supermarket if you live somewhere nearby these fields, but uh, the safer way of doing that is just going the other way. I won't tell how to get there because it's in my village area. No, you might be asking, I've never caught any fishes around here. I don't think there is any actually. It's not deep enough. Rivers are not very deep anyway. If you look down there, there's a bit of flooding that's been created. Can't see any on the other side. Hmm. I think when it's warmer, and when we get like nearer to um, the spring and the summer, maybe on a day like this, one well, maybe not cloud, maybe not rainy, but just um, cloudy, maybe we can go for a hunt to see where Wolfie is. What if Wolfie has been hiding around in these areas at the end of the story of Tracy Beaker? Don't know. Only one thing. Better look out for the delightful children, kids, the delightful children from down the lane, I think it's called. I've been watching a lot of Codename Kids Next Door for some time. I've watched the whole season of season two last night, which is on Thursday. And it's really good. It's, it's really interesting how I watch more of a show than what didn't really watch much as a kid that I am now. Do you watch any recent shows from your younger years that you never watched when as a, as a kid but you start to watch it now at your current age? Let me know in the comments. It's really quite surprising that this riverbank around here hasn't overflowed these grounds yet. Only though, this looks like a dumping ground with all this rubbish around. The scrapyard doesn't look any different. Let's go and see what the water is like. 
at the bridge, all of that's been rising a bit more since it's been really miserable for some time. Let's go and have a look. Sometimes as well when it's really windy, trees can fall off as well as you can see. Some of them aren't strong enough and they can just fall onto the ground. So it's not always uh, a chainsaw that chops down trees, it's the wind. So for chainsaw men or chainsaw women, you don't always have to do the job all the while, apart from clearing up your rubbish. No one directly, but you know what I mean. Hmm. Can't see any rubbish around here. So how come it's been on the other side? Maybe because the other side looks more pretty than this side. Who knows? Never seen any boats coming down this way before. It's just because the river is either too narrow or not, not deep enough for boats to go down. There's never been any boats around here, apart from rubbish and the scrapyard and trees falling down. Well, it looks like the fence panel has been fixed since me and Aaron woke up here while we were doing our village walk the other week ago. I'm going to catch the bus into the town centre and go for a wander by the time I get up uh, in the village hill. Looks like they've been doing some road works down there and they shut off that road. I think a path is available on the right side of this road. So I'm going to walk that way and get a bus so I can get myself nice and dry for a bit. <sighs> it certainly is a bit of a cold day as well. I'm, I am a little bit hot in the inside, I'm a little bit sweaty. So I wonder if there are any new Funko collectibles in the city centre. Because recently I've seen like an Elsa Epilogue dress by Funko. I'll show you just a second. Just need to get through there. Might even buy myself a drink before I get on the bus because there's an off license shop not too far away from here. When I was walking up to here to go to the off license shop to get myself a drink, I seen a few, like two men were, one of them was cutting the road off. I don't know if I've seen that before, but I think it's got a sand cutter. It's one of those machines where you can press it down and it cuts a lot of things, like whenever it's metal, wood, plastic maybe, or iron, I don't know. I don't know much about um, DIY, but um, I don't know what they're up to. They seem to be cutting off the road for some reason. That's the reason why it's closed. I got myself a Dr Pepper Zero drink for one pound fifty pen, fifteen pence from the off license shop, and now I'm going to continue walking. It'll get warmer soon because we're near at the end of February. <sighs> I've managed to um, get on a bus, and I'm heading to the city centre. Oh, it's been a really rainy day, and it's a bit cold at the same time. Do for the next 10 minutes is have a drink of Dr Pepper Zero or water if I wanted to and then we'll have a look around to see if there's any new merchandises to buy. There isn't always all the time but sometimes now and again there are new merchandises available to collect or or to use it for whatever else occasion or I don't know. What I'm going to be having my, for my lunch? I'm not too sure yet. I'll think about it and see what I fancy a bit later. So, in the city centre once again. I know you lot have seen the city centre so many times in my previous videos, but this is where I mostly come to. It's, it's like a local pub or it's like a local supermarket, something like that where you commonly go to the shops to get food and drink. And when you go to the pub, you go for a drink if you've been after a busy week of work or 
if it's somewhere you really like to go because it's got like your favorite drink or summer this is one of the reasons why the city center is like a main location like in a tv series say like let's say spongebob for instance you know the bikini bottom appears like in every single episode of the series where you got the crusty crab spongebob squidward patrick's house the chum bucket and a few episodes you get mrs potter's boating school and um they're just examples of why you see those locations so commonly in a tv show let's look at the disney store to see if there's anything new around what do we have here high school musical the musical the series shouldn't it be high school musical the series not high school musical the musical the series that's a very long text for a t for a show title now let's see if there's anything new around in the disney store um i'm looking from my own eyes while i'm filming at the same time I've already got one of those. Um, I'm not too sure. Sometimes there's like new, like furniture stuff, a swimsuit. Um, I'm not 100% sure. Same merchandises. I just want to just give you an update based on what happened. When I was filming the Disney store, one of the staff members, not like harshly, but told me to be a bit more careful when it comes to filming around places like that next time because it's not about the, the location, it's not about the products, it's the problem. It's just about filming other people, which caused a bit of controversy. Now, because what I've already just had a small talk with, it's actually kind of like started to have me dethrone off and think about scrapping my vlog idea and my series. And you're probably going to be wondering why. It's only because if I cause any trouble or any controversy when it comes to like doing something simple and not hurting anyone I can seriously get affected and I can seriously be completely have my positivity completely stamped on if you want to call it like, like that sorry you can't see that properly I just so and another thing as well, I'm kind of like starting to run out of ideas for my vlog series. Maybe I just need to just take a break or, I don't know, think of other ideas when it comes to vlogging. It's just sometimes, if someone tells you something you're doing something wrong, it can really change you completely instantly. It may not be everybody, but for me, unfortunately, that is just the case. I'll feel better a bit later on, but for now, I felt like if someone told me off in a serious, angry way, and I just only made a simple mistake, and it's like getting punched or slapped with or something, but bear in mind, I'm not always creative or positive either, to be bear in mind with you. So, I really don't know what I want for lunch. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know. I'll see what I fancy a bit later.